This is a very important part of the aluminum discussion. So please pay attention to, to this. China reaffirmed its focus on cutting over capacity in metal protection to ease deflationary pressures, right? So China's concerned that they're making so much aluminum that it's going to lower the price, call it leading to deflation. So they're, you know, they're going to force some of their manufacturers to cut. So one way or another, the production is going to be an issue. And folks are talking about aluminum production. So the supply issue is what's going to be a concern with aluminum. So for aluminum, uh, you know, we've got a strong growth signal going on. We've got a lot of demand in the world of renewable energy and EVs. And remember last week how we were talking about how AI data centers, because they use so much electricity and so much energy, they're driving copper. So uh, there's a lot of aluminum that's used in, uh, you know, our, our power structure, our modern society. So the demand signal for aluminum is going to continue to go up. Uh, in fact, I have seen some sources that are forecasting that the demand for aluminum will go up by another 40% by 2030 and another 80% by 2050. 1.5 billion tons. Uh, that is 75% of all the aluminum that has ever been produced is still in circulation. All right. So it, throughout the course of humanity, uh, 1.5 billion tons is still being, you know, moved around. Uh, that, you know, that's just to me, that's kind of, I just find that amazing that we have aluminum that has been recycled who knows how many times. Uh, you know, you can, when you take that aluminum can back to a recycling center, it could very well be a new aluminum can within 30 days. It's just amazing to me how fast that can turn around. So aluminum is pretty much one of those forever recyclable kind of things because you're not breaking down the aluminum structure the way they, the way plastic can degrade every time it gets recycled. So so again, this signal is very comforting to us as scrappers and recyclers. It says we can continue to bring our aluminum into our recycling, you know, whether it's our scrapyard, wherever we're recycling it, um, and get reasonable prices for it that should continue to go up.